Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos like this here for you on my channel, Watch Barbara Knit. We are trying something a little different today. And what it is, is I have figured out how to make my computer do like screen recording. So I wanted to show you something. Now, I wanna talk about the Indie Design Gift Along. Um, that be, it began in Dece uh, November, and I will link to when I announced about it, there was an earlier video, and there was a sale, and the sale is over, but just because the sale is over doesn't mean that the actual gift along is over. The gift along itself runs through December 31st. Like, so today is only the 6th, so there's plenty of time to still get your gift along on. And I wanted to show you something that I thought would be cool. So you can see here, I am in the window in my Ravelry. And so I'm looking at the camera now, but I'm gonna start looking at my screen. So you'll just see me up in the corner so you can see what I'm doing. But here is the Indie Design Gift Along group. You can see I'm a member and I've been a member for quite some time. And there's all the rules and what you need to do and see, look, someone joined just four hours ago. So you know what, there's still plenty of time. But what you can do is go to the participating designers thread and any independently published pattern from any designer who's participating is, you can use it to participate in the design along. So you can go through here and there are so, there are over 300 people participating, right? Look at all this. So you can go and you can browse through all this or this is what I wanted to show you. We can go to here where it says announcements and map. And you can go, there are all the Pinterest boards that you can go through, but this is the bundle I wanted to show you. They made this bundle where they have put together all of the eligible patterns from all of the, I cannot believe that, that there was a crew that did the work involved. Look at this, over 17,000 patterns. But if I click here on all eligible patterns from the group bundle, it takes us to this bundle, right? Which I don't know about you, but 17,000 patterns, that's a lot of patterns to go through. So you can go to the advanced search, right? I'm going to click here and it says, what do I want to search? The designers. So I'm going to search the patterns by the designers, right? And this will give you all of the patterns available by all of the participating designers. Now, one thing you need to note is that if the pattern is a free pattern, then it's not eligible to win a prize. It has to be a paid pattern, but that's really the only restriction, independently published and paid. But, so I wanna show this. So as you can see, there are 209 pages, so I don't have time to show you all this, but I didn't know how much, everybody uses Ravelry differently, and I don't know how much you've done this over here, where you can create all of these different sorts. So I'm going to go, let's say we want to make a clothing, let's make a sweater, okay? Well, what kind of sweater do we want? Well, let's just, okay, there's just under two, just under 2,000. So all the sweaters, all the sweaters. We're doing all the sweaters, right? Now, um, how can we make this, narrow this down? So, you know, I'm not really wanting to make a kid's outfit, although there are some cute, super cute ones. We can actually, before I even have to go anywhere, look at that. How cute are, is that? That is beautiful. Look at those sleeves. There you go. So <laughs> there's one right for you if you wanted to do some color work. We're going back. So I'm going to go, and if you've never used this, it's very useful. Jump to a filter. So I'm going to go to gender, age, size, fit. So, and then I'm gonna go to age, and I want an adult. So that narrows it down a little bit, okay? So then we can go to 
category. And under category, nope, I didn't want to go to category. I wanted to go to attributes. There we go. So there's all different kinds of things. Now, let's see here. Let's see what's under design elements. All different kinds of stuff. Look at all this cool stuff. Um, whoa, look at over here. Look at those cool cables. You know what? Let's look at cables. So we're going to go to fabric characteristics and click on cables, right? So now what we have is adult sweaters in cables that are qualified for participating in the knit along. And so we're down to 276 matches. So we've got all kinds of a meat. Look at all this stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But let's say we wanted to narrow it down a little bit more. And we're going to go to um, yarn. Do, 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 do. So we've got a bloop, 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 bloop. There is a yarn part. It's probably down further. There we go. Weight. So let's say DK weight. We're going to make a DK weight sweater. Let's look here. Ooh. Pretty, pretty. And so here, so you've narrowed it down. And here you can go through the DK weight. Ooh, nice. Look at all the beautiful pieces. Okay, this is crazy talk. Cables and color work. So um, let's decide, you know what, let's swap out. Let's put worsted and remove DK. See what else we get. This is beautiful. Look at that. So you can click in. That has got a beautiful cable up the back. Maybe it might have been the blue too. I like blue. Oh, look at the neck on this one. Gorgeous. Now this isn't a book, so I'm not sure if that qualifies. I'd have to check. But again, so you've narrowed it down and you found, oh my goodness, look at that. Cool, look at this. I'm going to make it even bigger. How cool is that cable? This is called Sand Snake and I can totally see where she got it. But isn't that a fascinating cable? This is a cardigan. It is beautiful. So we have found a plethora of of DK weight cabled pieces that we could do. Now, all we got to do is go back, right? And go back again. And so let's say we want to, now we want to keep that it's the gift along, right? So we're going to clear that and that and that and that. And let's go back to category, right? And let's go with accessories. What do we want to make? Hmm. A shawl. <laughs> of course I want to make a shawl. I always want to make a shawl. So we've got a shawl. So that narrows it down to 3,200. So that might be a bit much to wade through. We've got a lot of beautiful stuff, but we've got pages and pages of it. So let's go to yarn weight. Let's make a, a sport weight shawl, okay? We're making a sport weight shawl and that's narrowed it down to 258, which is a little more, um, ooh, what is this? It's just the first one that popped up. Oh, that's gorgeous and it's got a really cool graphic. That's a cool thing. So you've got that. And pretty, pretty, pretty. Hmm. We might need to narrow it down a little bit more. So let's see attributes and construction. So all the different different kinds of ways that you can make stuff. Um, we've got bottom up. We've got stuff on a bias. That'll really narrow things down. So. That took us down to 14 that are all worked on the bias. And there's still <laughs> gonna be hard to choose. Ooh, what's this? 
That's beautiful. So now I don't know about you guys, but I can do this all day. <laughs> I can fall down the rabbit hole at Ravelry and go down it and just stay going down it. But I wanted to show you guys how this designer bundle worked. Um, let's, I feel the need to look at really cute stuff. So let's do one more where we're going to actually sort it specifically for baby stuff. And we can see all the baby stuff. Hmm. Oh, oh, look at the chicken. <laughs> So hats, definitely our babiness. Okay, let's try um, color work. Hmm. Stripes, baby stripes. Now, when you get something like this where the picture is adult, what it normally means is that it's sized throughout for you to have multiple sizes. There's a blanket, there's some really cute crochet. Look at me pointing at my screen, like you guys can see it. Oh, look at that. So you can narrow things down and find the stuff that you want to. And again, if you decide, nah, maybe not stripes, you just push the clear button. And then we're gonna go to design elements. Mm. Fabric characteristics, lace. Let's go to lace. Lacy baby stuff. Okay, that's the great name. I'm keeping this hat. <laughs> uh, it looks like a hat that's a keeper. So again, it's going to have, you can see right here, the sizes. So that's why it's coming up in the baby category. Oh, look at all the cute things. There we go. That is how you use the advanced Ravelry search. Um, I find that everybody uses Ravelry completely different and I'm always finding something new. So I thought I would show this to you guys. If you like this screen share thing, please let me know because I can try to come up with other things I can do. We could just do a, hey, let's surf Rav together kind of thing um, because I love looking at Rav just as much as the next person. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you subscribe to my channel, then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much.